Okay, so this is my steam scooter so far. It is powered by, fired by wood pellets with a small monotube boiler using a spark plug water level sensor. The feed water feed pump is a cheap eBay diaphragm pump for RV water systems. It has a small tank. It's got an Arduino electronic control system that controls the blower fan and the water pump and it takes input from the water level sensor and we've got a gauge we've got a small tiller steering system with a little brake and the steam line I don't actually have an engine yet I was experimenting with a die grinder a pneumatic die grinder but it wasn't working out so well so I still have to figure out how what sort of engine I'm going to use now originally I had intended to have this automatically starting using a diesel glow plug but my glow plug has burnt out and I haven't had a chance to replace it yet Okay, I filled the water tank and let's get started. You can see the wood pellets in here. Now this is just a gravity fed wood pellet feet burner. And I have a little wire mesh inside that holds the wood pellets and keeps just the right amount in the chamber. And everything you see here was bought in a combination of at the hardware store and on eBay. And it's good proof that you don't need a lot of work or a big machine shop to build a steam car. Now since my glow plug is burnt out, I need to put a handful of wood pellets inside here and start them with the torch. Which isn't particularly hard. is starting to smoke. And then I just stick that back in there. <clears throat> Wait for it to start up. Now, the entire boiler shell and burner are made with regular galvanized sheet metal and pop riveted together with steel pop rivets and then sealed with a lot of furnace cement. Now, I don't expect this to last particularly long, but it's a good starting point. Alrighty, you can see it's already starting to burn pretty good there. And we should be getting some water coming out pretty soon. Whew, 
smoky. Now one thing I have to figure out is how I'm gonna seal this because it's very smoky in this lid here. Oh, we're starting to get some pee. Now let's swing this around a little bit. One of the things I noticed is the water level sensor needs to be pointed vertically. That's a old Model T spark plug. And sometimes it gets water stuck in it, so I need to bend that all the way upwards. Oh, now we're starting to get steam. Let's put on our gloves. Let's close that valve. Now she's starting to go up. Now, you'll hear this water pump kick on. For a few seconds, it's set up so that every 15 seconds it checks the water level sensor. And if the water level sensor is down, then it turns on the pump till it go till it detects water again. And then that's feeding into the boiler through a check valve. And I like these because this is about the water pump was about $15 on eBay. The only problem is it uses flexible plastic hose connections, so you really have to clamp those down. You can see sometimes the water pump will stick a little bit. Now we're getting some good steam. Give it a second to heat up. And stabilize. Now you can see the pressure gauge there. It will go up pretty fast if I close the valve. So let's see what... So let's try that out. You can see the pressure build pretty fast once I close the valve. We got lots of hot water. Now it's not making nearly the amount of steam it was earlier, probably because those coils are all co caked up with, uh, all covered in soot, and I need to wash those off. But you can see. The, the burner's flowing pretty well. And overall, it needs quite a bit of tuning, but I've, bur I've boiled about two gallons within an within less than an hour, probably around 45 minutes altogether. So that's a pretty good water rate. And you can see that it's making quite a bit of steam there. It's all powered by a little battery, and that's a little computer blower fan. And that's very wet steam. 
right now, so it's obviously not a very optimized system. It also needs much. It also needs a lot more superheater. I only used about 40 feet of half inch outside diameter tu copper tubing. So, and the water level sensor is about halfway up through that. So I need, not only do I need to uh, add more superheater section so we don't get that wet steam, I also need to stick something inside the middle there so that all the, air, all the hot air doesn't just go right up through the middle without touching the coils. So you can see it's making quite a bit of fire. Now, this pallet burner was pretty easy to build, obviously, since it's made out of... Sorry about that. I'm not sure when it... I think my uh, camera turned off. Now what I was about to do is pop the uh, relief valve, which is just a standard air compressor relief valve. Now the neat thing is I hydro tested the whole system to around 150 psi, which is actually where the water pump starts leaking profusely out of the seams. But it hasn't seemed to uh, affected it too much or damaged it in any way. So let's pop the relief valve. And the pressure will start to build very, very quickly because it is a monotube. And then, any second now, you can hear the flame, the flames turn off, down. And all this is a lot of standard plumbing parts and some electronic controls using an Arduino base and a few things off eBay. And you can build your own little monotube boiler. This would probably work pretty well for maybe a power generator but I'm gonna make the scooter run as soon as I get a good engine. And that's it. Thanks for watching.